Hello my dear friends and my dear students assalamu alaikum and welcome back to a lesson for you dear friends we are discussing about the structure of the human eye right now these were our previous lectures are regarding the structure of cornea regarding the structure of uveal tract in which we discussed about the choroidal layer and the ciliary body in a big detail you can see on the white board now i'm going to discuss about the structure of the iris in detail inshallah right so we will discuss about the structure of iris then we will discuss about the structure and composition of lens then other structures which are all present in the eye and we will go further forward to the blood supply of the eye to the venous drainage and to the innervation of the eye we will have separate separate lectures on all of them right so let us see about the structure of the iris hello friends welcome back let's see about the structure of the iris first of all a little bit uh, introduction of iris that what is its exact location where is the iris exactly located so you can see in this diagram or let me draw another diagram a very clean diagram to show you exactly where is iris located right if this is our sclera right the outer fibrous layer of the eye then in front of the sclera you know we have our cornea right and then we have the second layer which is called your uh, choroidal layer or the vascular layer right or the nutritive layer of the eye right this is called the choroid or uveal tract we also say uveal tract now this is the part of uveal tract which is present behind right and this is called the choroid right and then the choroidal layer when it goes further forward it becomes thickened and triangular in shape right and this thickened and triangular part of the uveal tract which is interior right this part is called the ciliary body this is our ciliary body done and also on that side right and uh, there are many students which uh, which get uh, who get confused with the uh, structure of the eye wall friends don't be confused look carefully uh, we have eye here This is an eye model with us, right? What we have did in this diagram, what we have done, we have dissected the eye, right? Here. And uh, we have taken this part and put it there and we are looking in the inside of the eye, right? So very much students will get confused with this diagram, right? So this is the interior side, this is the lateral side, right? So th like that. Now look carefully. This is our ciliary body. Now, if we move further forward, right, the ciliary body is narrowed again, right? And this narrow part of the ciliary body, which is further anteriorly, this narrow part is called the iris. So, we know now I am drawing this iris, right? Okay, it has a free end, which is the pupillary end right i will show you after some time and this is the basal end right this is the attached part and this is its free part we will go in detail of it so first of all i will define what is iris so this is our iris right a pigmented curtain this is called iris now look carefully here is our lens This is the lens, right? And all these are the suspensory ligaments of your lens. And behind the lens, you have what? Behind the lens here, you have the aqueous chamber. This is our aqueous chamber. And posterior to aqueous chamber, you know that there is your retina. 
it's very important this is retina okay now look carefully in anterior to the vitreous body right this is our vitreous body it contains vitreous humor or vitreous fluid in front of the uh, the the vitreous body the at this point the eye is divided into anterior segment and posterior segment so if we draw a line here that will be the the line which divides the eye into two segments this is the posterior segment posterior segment of the eye and this is the anterior segment of the eye right anterior segment the anterior segment of the eye is present in front or anterior to the vitreous body right and all the structures along with the vitreous body which are present posterior to the lens right all these structures are present in the posterior segment of the eye right now in the anterior segment of the eye what structures are present there there is your cornea cornea is present there there is ciliary body there is lens there is suspensory ligaments there is iris there is anterior chamber there is posterior chamber so all these structures are present in the anterior segment of the eye now look carefully look anterior segment uh, will start at this point and will end at the cornea you know well right and this part is the anterior segment of the eye now look iris is present just in the center part of the anterior segment you can see here this is your iris right so this point divides the anterior segment of the eye into anterior chamber and posterior chamber right so if we move further down right like this this line will divide the anterior segment of the eye now look the the structures which are present or the parts of the eye which are present to the midline of the anterior segment this part is called the anterior chamber right look carefully anterior chamber right and the parts of the anterior segment which are present posterior to this midline right this part is called the posterior chamber right so let me mention it here this is our posterior chamber right we can also say that the anterior chamber is present anterior to the iris and posterior to the cornea right in front of the iris and posterior to cornea there is anterior chamber and behind the iris and anterior to the lens there is the posterior chamber and both of these chambers contain the aqueous fluid or aqueous humor right we know that well we have discussed it while we are discussing about the structure of the ciliary body right so this anterior chamber posterior chamber iris what is iris iris is a curtain right iris is a curtain between the anterior chamber and posterior chamber right it means that iris divides the anterior segment of the eye into anterior chamber and posterior chamber i hope you understand this right let's move further forward so let us discuss about uh, the iris and some uh, important points regarding the iris first of all what is iris iris is a flat ring shaped colored membrane which is uh, present behind the cornea and interior to the lens which contain a central hole called pupil so look carefully let me draw the iris from anterior side this is your eyeball and in the center of your eye you have the green for example this is the cornea right and behind the cornea there is the anterior chamber and behind the anterior chamber there will be your iris so we will represent uh, the iris like this 
so all this structure represents your iris all this is your iris right and you know that if you take off the cornea you will find the anterior chamber and then if you put off or take all the substances of the anterior chamber out then you will find the iris and in the center of the iris you will find a central hole which is an adjustable hole adjustable means sometimes it become narrower and sometimes it becomes larger right so it will adjust itself according to the intensity of light it can become narrow it can become enlarge so it can get and uh, an enlargement of about 12 mm and a narrowing of 2 mm right it can adjust itself it's a, a, a pupil so the central hole which is present in the iris is called the pupil right okay this is a curtain between the anterior chamber and the posterior chamber like this right so what is iris iris is a a flat colored colored means it contains color the color of the eye the brown color the green color the light, light brown the bright brown colors all these colors of the eye are due to the iris and we will see later right <clears throat> so a flat colored ring shaped membrane in front of what in front of lens and behind cornea is called iris or we can also say that a pigmented muscular curtain a pigmented why because it contains lots of pigments and colors a pigmented muscular it contains some muscles also we will see later a pigmented muscular curtain in front and behind of in front of lens and behind of cornea that is called your iris right friends now what is the thickness of your iris <clears throat> some important points regarding iris what is the thickness now look carefully the iris is somewhat like this right so at the free margins at this point it, its thickness is a little bit narrower and at the attached part where it is attached with the ciliary body right this is our ciliary body so this is the attached part of the iris right so at this point its thickness is a little bit larger than at this point right so we say that at the free end at the free end its thickness is, is about 750 micro meter right and at the attached end attached end its thickness is about 2000 micro meter right like this done then the next important point about the iris that we have is its diameter what is the diameter of iris so its diameter is about 12 mm 12 mm meter then the next important point about iris what is its location exactly where is the iris located as previously i told you that it first of all we should know that the iris is located in the anterior segment of the eye right okay let me show it here anterior segment 
Then the next important point is that it is present in front of the lens and behind the cornea. In front of lens and behind cornea. Done. This is the exact location of your iris. And the next important point about iris how many surfaces does it has? Surfaces. So you can see here it has two surfaces. If you draw it three dimensionally, it will become like this. Right? So look, this is the whole your iris. And this is the central hole which is it containing this called pupil. So it has two surfaces, the outer surface and the inner surface. Or we say the corneal surface and the lens surface, right? Or the anterior surface and posterior surface. So we have how many uh, surfaces it has the anterior surface, right? And it has a posterior surface. Done. Then how many layers does it has? The layers. Actually it has two important layers. The outer, uh, the outer layer and the inner layer and how? Look carefully. For example, if this is your iris, right? And this is the outer surface, this is the inner surface, right? This outer layer of the iris mostly contains blood vessels and cells and everything right and some collagen fibers also right so this is the outer layer of the iris and this inner layer mostly contains uh, some epithelium some pigment epithelium right inner layer contains certain some pigment epithelium so we say it has two layers the outer layer and the inner layer this outer layer Mostly I will go in detail of it and we, while we discuss about the structure of the iris. This is called the stroma. And this inner layer is called the epithelium. Right? So we, we know that it has two layers. How many layers? Two layers. Right? Number one, outer stroma or stromal layer. And number two, inner epithelium or inner pigmented or we will see in the when we discuss about the structure of the iris then the next important point about iris is that how many margins does it has margins so you can see here it has two margins the free margin and the attached margin let me write it here the free margin and the attached margin where is the free margin and where is the attached margin this will be the free margin and this is the where it is attached with the ciliary body so this is the attached margin and here you have the next the uh, other part of so this is the pupillary end we also said this is the pupillary end right so these were some important points regarding the uh, iris now we will go in detailed structure and we will discuss the structure of the iris. Right.